Ladies and gentlemen, in a few moments the um, lovely poetic evening will begin. It seems like it will be once again a small meeting because only a few people have uh, turned up. We will see in a few minutes though. So sit back and enjoy while battle and us to our lovely work. <laughs> well, let's get the meeting started, shall we? we close the windows, but not now. Oh wait, yeah, now. Now is the best time. You ladies got something you wish to contribute with you can perform after we've been through the list of people signing us. Um, who signed it up? Alright ladies and gentlemen, I welcome you to the 122nd, I believe. That's special. Is there something different? Might be a little bit wrong there. Numbers never speak in my favor. <laughs> oh, 23rd. Okay. So, welcome to the 123rd, I think, meeting in Stormwind. Now, also in Delara and Poetry Appreciation Society meeting. <laughs> ah, you messed up again. What that happens, happens. Nothing to be embarrassed for. As usual, I will start the meeting citing a poem. And then other contributors may take turn according to the sign up list. Perfect. Well, I'm a bit out of juice because I had a morning shoot. 55 FPS is not bad, it's solid. It's not the best, but still. If there is time, which I'm sure there will be tonight, people who did not get the chance to sign up but still have a poem or song they wish to contribute with may get their chance. And as is tradition, the meeting will conclude with a small firework display. Seem to be in a hood, my friend. I'll be the wind poker buff. <laughs> I don't second sound check just to make sure. No, to start with I have this poem that was sent to me by someone who didn't sign. So guess they wanted to be anon anonymous. This is titled Repetition Eternal Again and Again and Again. <laughs> Repetition Eternal Again and Again and like a recurrent perpetual double vision deja vu all over again. Motherfucker who wrote this shit. And again, and. This one is trying to kill me. Repeating it indefinitely on an ever expand 
exponentially expanding ev event horizon of holographic repetitions. Bruh. Until the point where everything within the limits of perception and imagina imagination is one and the exact same thing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then, then collapsing like an exist exist blah blah blah, blah. exist existential kaleidoscope in eternal slow motion, just to start all over again in infinity. Performing a <laughs> pulsating omnipresent dance of ultimate compulsive synchronicity. Bruh. I'm glad this was it. Oh my fucking god, that's genius! Next up is Paulina. I pop off my skull, like the lid of a cookie jar. It's the secret place where I keep all my dreams. Little balls of sunshine, all rubbing together like a bundle of kittens. I reach inside with my thumb and four forefinger and pluck one out. It's warm and tingly, but there is no time to waste. I put it in a bottle to keep it safe. I put the bottle on the shelf with all the other bottles. Happy toss, happy toss, happy toss it. Bottles all in a row. My collection makes a lot of friends. Each bottle is a starlight to make amends. Sometimes my friend feels a certain way. Down comes a bottle to save the day. Night after night, more dreams. Friend after friend, more bottles. Deeper and deeper my finger goes. Like exploring a dark cave, discovering the secrets hiding in the nooks and crannies. Digging and digging, scrapping and scrapping, I blow dust off my bottle caps. I don't, it doesn't feel like time elapsed. My empty shelf could use some more. My friends look through my locked front door. Finally, all done, I open up and in comes my friends. And they come in such a hurry. Do they want my bottles that much? I frank frantically pull them from the shelf, one after other, holding them out to each and every friend, each and every bottle. But every time I let one go, it shatters again the tile between my feet. Happy toss, happy toss, happy toss and shards all over the floor. They were supposed to be for my friends, my friends who aren't smiling. They are shouting, bleeding, something. But all I hear is an echo, 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 inside my head. Did you calm down? Ah, you ended good, thank you. <laughs> that was fast. That was unpleasantly fast, Paulina. Please slow down, chill out, okay? Okay? Tears. Oh, oh, okay. Next up, Zeretta. Snowdown. Oop, that's me. It's a horde member, right? Yep, there we go. I'm curious what she got. I know the holes are not actually that bad. They're actually pretty good sometimes. Whoa. <laughs> right, before we get started, I'm play playing music, so I need to pull something from home. Okay. Something I don't have to decide. Ah, I feel better now. <laughs> Unless she sings. Uh oh. Uh oh. Hmm. 
piano. All right, lady. You sure have your muscles. I mean, a piano weighs around 100 kilograms more, I believe. Actually, more. It's a half a ton, isn't it? Yeah, curious. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna quickly google in my phone how much uh, pian piano weights in kilograms. I'm just curious. It's turned by now, eh? Piano weighs around 300 up to 600 kilograms. Rousing from dreams, craving for someone but herself to sleep. She's waiting, no sign from above. Where is the love? Be a little bit slower, but that might actually buy me time. The hourglass in pieces dashed to the wall. The future is over. Tomorrow's been slipping away, and nothing remains. I think she's using the wrong asterisk or um, it's not picking up anything because of it was a thought. She would know it would last forever. She would go ahead for a while. your eyes when you gaze at the sky and you look to the stars as they shut down the night you know a shame she doesn't use musician to accompany it actually with music the story ain't over When you open your eyes, when you gaze at the sky, and you look at the stars as they shut down the night, you feel... The story ain't over. I never read them all because, God lord, that would be, oof, ouch. I would recommend reading it, that's why I put it uh, a little bit bigger on the screen. Waves. <coughs> Where is the candle in this lonesome night? Light, why are you so wayward, abandoning me?
try my belief. When life is not words and tongue is not answers, we only can see a reason. it mean that it's not meant to be I'm trying to fucking figure out what story this is about she would know it won't last forever she would go ahead for a while and you open your eyes when you gaze at the sky and you look to the stars as they shut down the night you know The story ain't over. When you open your eyes, when you gaze at the sky, when you look down the stars, when you look at the to the stars, as they shut down the night, you feel... Could it be... Silvara, Silva, uh, Windrunner's backstory in a music style, Disney style, maybe. The story ain't over. This could be actually Keldas, Sunstrider, the leader. Feels like a fucking war, but I can't recall which one. When you open your eyes, when you gaze at the skies, when you look to the stars, stay shut down the night, you know the story ain't over. When you open your eyes, when you gaze at the sky, when you look to the stars, stay shut down the night, you feel the story ain't over. The story ain't over. Trying to remember links. I have no idea now. I won't have for the rest of the day, probably. Thank you very much. Next up is Anna. For a long term, I don't know that you're gonna try. That's that's a tough, ah, tough. Cut. that's a tough act to follow. It's not a competition, loss. just enjoy it. <laughs> Oh. 
crawling. Mm. <laughs> well, that's something funny. As you lay before me. The first warm rays of the rising sun glisten in the tiny droplets trickling down your skin. Oh shit, it's rain. Dawn is upon us. Hold in the meme. Hold in the meme. But you have nowhere else to be. You are mine, and mine alone. <clears throat> you are mine, and mine alone. Call me greedy if you wish, but I will not share. Who would? Polyamorous. <laughs> I inhale your scent. This intoxicating. <laughs> My breath quickens. Oh, I like her speed. I like her speed, really. I appreciate the slower typing. Small white clouds in the morning chill. I crave you, Mother. Mother, I crave violence. Great hunger runs over my lips. So does my beer. I must have you. Hmm. Is this blue for of what he is in Lord of the Rings? My tongue runs, runs over you. You surrender to my desire. My body devours yours with a reckless abandon. You fill me up. When I'm done with you, I roll over. No cuddles? I'm buying. Pulling. Satisfied. You stare back at me blankly. Was it you gonna say? I love you, fish.
बिल्कुल बल Next up on line is Edithis, a friend of the cat joke one. Let's hope he doesn't bear with us much worse. <laughs> and just kidding, it was very really good. It was, it was brilliant. I tried to make a bad pun, but I couldn't find the proper option there. I didn't mean what I said, but I stood stand by it. Evening, old folks. Um, my poem will be one about someone I love. Though not the traditional romantic love, but uh, you will all see. Ah, the droidic love. Like an animal. <laughs> uh, shut up, pal. No doubt. Ah, stands for Ruffert. As your feathers, oh, so often end up. That even like that, you're pink and push I manage to always serve as a lovely pick me up. Feathers pink, purple shine. stands for omnipotent for you carry yourself proudly as if there were the case though honestly almost everyone would believe that you were dead just by seeing your grace ok so that not a wound that's, that's clear S stands for serene, something that the forest fearless stopped being and you settled there with your boot. Where you all play around, destroy all my shirts and eat up all my food. Sinfarlas, okay. This is an avian. Maybe Um, what are they called? And finally, uh, I stands for a youth. That which I feel whenever we go out on a, our adventures together. For even if we can no longer do it as is, uh, do it as often, I still love you from your snazzy little beak to every little feather. Hmm, maybe an owl. No, it's not an owl. Oh, okay. Rosie is her name. And she is the prettiest hippogriff mummy. And if anyone wishes to dispute that title, come right up and fight me. <laughs> <laughs> That's one way to say fuck around and fight out. Good one. 
I like it. Yeah! <laughs> Next up seems to be Lynn Bloomon. And so far we know that she tends to do a lot of big time and super fast. So if she goes again, same route. I'm 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 This. I'm not sure, but I will add you to the list. Uh, if we get, in case we get him, um, which it doesn't seem to be today, today, even though we have a super tiny audience. To be fair, holy shit, it was fast. Ooh, my dear God, there are so many now. several dead many people. Hello, this story is kind of long, sorry about that. I heard it comes from a merc that went to Neverset in Hulu to recover the relic of some sort. Okay, here it goes. Oh shit. Merc, I'm gonna put you out of the list for now. The ruins themselves were quite easy to find, and no patrols ever got in our sight. And even though no threat was seen in the open, there was something to it that wasn't quite right. Yeah, there we go. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm gonna just be quiet for this one. Another law lesson. I will recommend you, however, to uh, pause it at the end uh, if you want to read it. She really brings uh, lore into the game in a form uh, so it's super long. You can now pause and read the parts completely. We will leave it up so you can pause it properly. Enjoy.
Got a year. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. What perversion awaits us this time? Let's find out. Oh, it's a bad again. <laughs> this is a short place about the Magnus Pissen behind. There are so many days where I can't get it off my mind. In perfection it's ways an excellent little tosh. And she shakes it those ways it often often makes me gush. The shapes makes me drool. I would never give it a pause. I would be branded a fool. If I let go of that offer ours, <laughs> a most marvelous rump, a vessel of pure delight, I would sure give it a thump and squeeze it inside. A round curt behind, fill all my wet dreams. A pleasurable, a pleasurable, uh, pre pleasurable grind, frustration and screams, and behind and a rear. A touch and a tail, a pistol and a cheer, I will end up in jail. <laughs> Just like a hor horn map, it might sound a bit cross. But before I blow a nut, I should marry that ass. <laughs> it's too good, it's too good. It's a safe one that I. I think it's still brilliant. <laughs>
will take us from here to Perilous, where our feet will be soaked through with mud. After two months of no pay, we stopped in Booty Bay, where our draining draining member nearly lost their tail. What the trouble with the oysters? Performers, poor oysters. Their choice is to run or to end up in jail. And it's up and away with the fables. Now some say the fair is rough all life, but we feel the freedom from strife and the joy, joy it details. And see liberation from pain and taxation. Our lives are a joy like our woven tales. <coughs> and though we may never return, we'll think of it often. Till the day the door weary old ashes got tossed in an urn. And the cheering tastes finer than wine. Dawn on the horizon. Not a care in the world. For the life of a showman is so fine. And we are up and away with the fables. Good one. Good one as usual from you. Six. Next up is Teljack. Member of the Horde faction. And a little pair up. Let's see what he has to offer. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> oh. This is something I wrote about looking back and looking ahead and making peace with your past. Come on, it's not my first language, obviously, but I hope I can convey the meanings regardless. Alright. Hit it. There was a time when I was very small. Or should I say, I was smaller yet. <laughs> Foot in the rain, stop to see it all. The forking road to boredom or regret. The sun was slowly setting in the best. Behind the sandy crescent of a doom. In darkness, I imagined my life's quests. And so I travelled east, under the moon. My youth. It's a museum of mistakes, of which I am the curator and the guest. My eyes became as deep as northern lakes when I returned to my abandoned nest. I'm chased by phantoms like a, like a mother's mother duck. They no longer scream 
the skies are black. They say to me, hello, sleep well, good luck. Sometimes they even pop me on the bark. <coughs> My morning smells of eggs and coffee beans. The dusty wheels sing a familiar song. A hundred with more grace than a foreign queen's. In your eyes of blood like color rides along. Her smile makes my phantoms fade and wane. And for a second I believe in madness. That life once turned one way can turn again. And simple joy can vanquish messy sadness. My playful dream choose on the blue pea field of her hyena seldom do they part the sand is warm the desert sky is clear and that's enough to nearly fill my heart thank you I love that poem, I like it, and um, yeah, I have these people as well in my life, luckily, or I would have go gone mad already. <laughs> so, this meeting last point will be violent, be sure to stay for the concluding firework. Ah, this contest violet lemon tea. <laughs> <laughs> Good evening everybody, my name is Violet. And about a year ago I attended my first poetry night. I haven't made dark in the past anything new but in this bit of universities I shall recite my very first poem. I titled it Shadows. Shadows come and lay bare. All my being trapped in its delightful snare. Swift blade in the dark, dropping scarlet rivers deep. All too quickly into the dusty ground they seep. Distant voices hooting and hollering over fickle fate for a shadow only foolish sorrows to commiserate. Shadows come and lay bare. I don't know how I did that in the past. I'm fucking scared now. <laughs> so many dangerous truths I wish I could share. Hearts beating fast with untold desire. Eyes cold as steel, igniting the bit wild primal fire. So pretty and bright, they lure you in. Lying bare and naked, your every sin. Shadows come and lay bare, chasing away my darkness nightmare. Darkest nightmare, oopsie. Deceiver, bitter ray, murderer, thief. Yet never have you brought me any grief. Feeling as if asking for too much. A 
At night I often find myself longing for shadows. Cruel, tender touch. Oh yeah, that's brilliant. Thank you very much. I'm gonna post it again. <laughs> good job, good job, Violet. <laughs>